Now, what was all that about? Oh, nothing, Mom. They've mistaken me for somebody else. Now, don't you go misbehaving. We're in enough trouble as it is. Oh, don't worry, Mom. Soon all our troubles will be over. I've got a feeling that a miracle is about to happen. Something stupendous. Something impossible. Pat Carney's going to play goal for the Vancouver Canucks. <laughs> Whatever it is, it'll change our life. The only thing that'll change our life is if you get yourself a job. Oh, Aladdin, Aladdin, you're a dreamer and a wastrel. To think that a son of mine is being sought by the police. My own flesh and Guinness. <laughs> well, I can't be standing around here all day. I've got bloomers to boil and socks to soak. If anybody comes looking for me, I'll be in the kitchen polishing the walk with the cat's bum. <laughs> You know, I just know that today's special. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> I've got a plan, but I'm gonna need some help. <laughs> you see, I'm in love with the princess, but there's one problem. She doesn't know it yet. <laughs> the other problem is that, well, no one is allowed to look upon her face on pain of death. I I've just got to get to talk to her, though, just for a minute or so. So, uh, will you help me? Yeah! Yeah? Okay. Because, <laughs> see, I need confidence. <laughs> Yeah. I need encouragement. I need trumpets. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. That was nice. <laughs> I need uh, drums. <laughs> that was even better. <laughs> I need, I need, I need a whole orchestra. <laughs> Blow the bugle. Sound the symbol. All my troubles fill a thimble. I'm as happy as it's legal to be. Come on, kids, let's hear it for me. Sound the tom tom. Start it drumming. Cue the chorus. Keep them humming, cause I'm climbing up the limb of that tree. Come on, kids, let's hear it for me. Cause that overwhelming sensation I could stand for a standing ovation Get my entrance cue to the band And I give this little fella a great big hand Sound the trombone Let it swell out This performance is a sellout The critics and the public agree I'm the number one attraction to see So applaud it and cheer it Come on now, let's hear it for me Woo, hi! Inside me, I'm free. They've been banished by a royal decree. And your head feels so good when you finally clear it. If I saw worry, I wouldn't go near it. Come on now. Come on, kids. Let's hear it. Let's hear it for me. is the hero of your story, a poor man's Leonard Cohen. <laughs> when will he find the lamp? He is yet to hear of it, let alone find it. He knows not of the lamp's existence? Not yet. Then there is still time. Time for what? Time for me to take over this story and control the outcome. Well, why would you do that? Because I want that lamp! <laughs> you 
your lust for power is decidedly unattractive, Vizier. Oh, shut up, you miserable little monarch. Vizier! I will be your wet nurse no longer, you buffoon! For years I have suffered your whining stupidity. But now, now I have the power within my grasp to change all that. But this is all in your imagination, Vizier. Is that so, my lord? This woman holds more witchcraft than she admits to. If this is all imagination, then imagine this! <laughs> you said that only one with a stronger imagination can take over this story. Well, I have just imagined him out of existence. Now I will do the same to you. Except I feel you could be useful to me in the future. I have told a tale of Newt, Myrtle Leaf and Hemlock Roots, Maw of Mole and Claw of Dog, Skin of Snake and Spawn of Frog. By Lion's Breath and Viper's Sting, Entrap this maid within this ring! Within the ring of Samarkand, Only to appear at my command! Shahrazad, once proud and brave, has now become the vizier's slave! <laughs> Abanazar has me wrapped around his finger. Call the police or have a back scratch, whatever. Just don't miss the rest of the story. Nobody here. Well, I should jolly well hope not. <laughs> Today, for some reason, I was a rather expecting a demonstration. They wouldn't dare, oh light of the world. Rather a pity in a way. I could have rather look forward to a good clutch of executions. Well, well do not abandon all hope, your hugeness. <laughs> you still have a few more streets to pass through. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we do, don't we? Very well. Lead on, Pong! Lead on! Now, now, don't forget you're supposed to have run over me by accident and you're in a state about it. I still think it's a stupid idea and a dangerous one to boot. What if the princess's procession doesn't stop processing? It will. It's a pushover. It'll be a walkover. If it doesn't stop, it'll be you who's walked over. Um, oh. Says, terrible accident, terrible accident. Oh, what happened? And me pushy garbage down street and clash me run over coolie. Oh, 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 terrible, oh, terrible. Hey, you two, cut it with a bad accent down there. Put this thing down, you scallywags. No. Gently, for God's sake. What do you think this is? The ice capades? <laughs> you could have broken something important. Now, what's going on? It's you, the kid from the apple tree. And you're the princess. Small world, isn't it? Well, it is from up here. Now, what's going on here? Oh, please forgive me, princess, but I, but I, I just had to meet you, and I couldn't think of any other way. Well, it beats the home shopping club. <laughs> Are you hurt? Well, I shall be if you refuse to talk with me. Beat it! <laughs> oh, uh... You may retire. Well, that's very kind of you. I was going to wait until I was 65. <laughs> okay, kids, shoot. Well, well, Princess, I've, I've seen you in your garden, and, well, you just seem so kind and so gentle and so tall. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> well, I just thought it was unfair of the Emperor to keep you hidden away like that. I think you're as much a prisoner of your life as I am of mine. 
Well, Faye, that's cute. And so are you. What's your name? Aladdin. Are you sure it isn't Robert Redford? No. Oh, well, beggars can't be choosers. What do you do? <laughs> well, I... I, uh... Ah, uh, I'm a nobody. Oh, come on. Nobody's a nobody. <laughs> you know, I just knew you'd be nice. <laughs> Ever since I saw you from the apple tree. Oh, yeah, you sit up there a lot, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I sit up there and I dream that someday maybe I'd become somebody very rich with a grand title, a prince, perhaps. But, uh, well, that's impossible. Well, if you became this prince, what would you do? Well, I, I would ask you to, to... Uh... What's this? A young boy on the streets and in the arms of my daughter. My daughter! He has looked upon the face of my daughter. Well, I'm sorry, sir. It was an accident. And I, now I... he's looking at me. Oh, come on, Pops. It wasn't his fault. It really was an accident. Accident. Just... You may go. I will give him accident. Guards, seize him. You uh, take your hands off my baby, you hooligan! Silence, woman! Where are my police? Don't you lay a hand on me! Not unless you mean it! <laughs> and who do you think you are standing there beside yourself? And what a horrible couple he makes! <laughs> you are who? No, I'm not who lives next door. I'm the widow Twanky, the best laundress in Pekin. Sock soaker and singlet ringer to his imperial majesty, the emperor, easy on the start, of China. You are who? I am the emperor of China. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? That's a good one, that is. He says he's the emperor of China. <laughs> oh, my God, it is him, isn't it? That's what I thought. Oh, you're majestical. Oh, you're Brian Mulroney ship. <laughs> My poor boy Aladdin, I don't know what he did, but he didn't mean any harm. He wouldn't hurt anybody. Spare him! Spare him! Spare him! Do you realize, a woman, that this commoner has had the effrontery to gaze upon the face of the princess? To look! <sighs> Even at me! He had no business being on the street at all! Come to that, neither have you! What? Come to that? Neither has that little girl. What are you doing here? Don't look at your mommy. She shouldn't be here either. God sees them all. Arrest everybody. <laughs> I'll cancel the upcoming Christmas holidays and send you right back to school. <laughs> that goes for the children, too. <laughs> hey, how about that emperor, eh? I haven't seen a performance like that since Leonard Nimoy starred in the life story of Yoko Ono. <laughs> so, a quiet street, no one in sight. Now, to set my plans in motion. But first, I need information. Information that only one person can supply. Your wish is my command, O oh Master. Oh, say it again. Your wish is my command, O oh Master. Oh, just once more. Don't push your luck, O oh Master. <laughs> Tell me, O oh refugee from the Nutcracker. I find the cave of a thousand sighs, in which there lies a certain lamp. Three leagues into the eye of the rising sun, there in the mountains of Buddha lies the cave of a thousand sighs. Can you take me there? That I can, master, but it would avail you not. Avail me not? Why? First you must seek the one named Aladdin. I have no need of him now. All I seek is the lamp. For you to enter the cave would mean certain death. Only the one named Aladdin can enter and deliver the lamp into mortal hands. Then by Trini Lopez, so he shall. Be gone! <laughs> <laughs> 